Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, father. To hell with this place. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. She is. It's got to be her. Then he... Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Thank you, goddess. Your power fused with mine. This should be good. Oh, hello. Numbskulls. <laughs> having a good time? Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I'll accept this message. Hey there, Zagman. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. He's offering an exchange. Leave it to the God of Wine to liven things up around here. Want to fight? from the 
dead. I'll just take that. Uh-oh. They absorbed my blow. to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Back already. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. Though how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, Father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. You have come home. Do not despair and hold to your resolve, child. Tell me something. Has the goddess Athena thus been true to her word and her willingness to lend you her support? She has, Nix. I'm grateful that you put us into contact and explained to her the situation that I'm in. It gladdens me to hear it. Seldom do Olympians consort with those born of the underworld. Yet your circumstances seem to do cause for an exception. She shall make a powerful out. I'm back, room. Did you miss me? Night and darkness guide me. Okay, I can escape through that pink window there. Let's try it. Koronacht, the heart seeker. Let's deal some deaths. Over here. What the? <laughs> Killed again. I'm not gonna die. Thunder. Is that. Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he is not so much as cold in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong. Here on Olympus, and to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day. 
or at night, whenever. Composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld... Good thing I'm not dead. She is your mother, as I understand. We Olympians rarely consort with the Chthonic gods. Though Nyx herself reached out to me about your plight, and I was spurred to act. The Shield of Light. Each exit has its own reward. Wretches. I think I hear the river. No way. Why, well, good to see you, Caron, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that? You got some sort of wares for sale? Then I'll just have a look around. see it on your face. It also says it on my list. Got everybody's cause of death right here. 
some real morbid stuff from time to time. So anyway, take care. Um, thanks. Too bad, boy. How you holding up, boy? Eating well? <laughs> Each terrifying maw of the infernal watchdog Cerberus responds affirmatively, one after the next, as if to reassure the ever-doubting prince. Well, that was quick. What news, boy? Ready to give up, or no? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Lucky I've got other family who believe in me. Be careful whom you give your trust. My brothers frolic on Olympus while we work, while I work. You're just like them. No wonder they like you. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. I won't forget you, Nyx, I swear it. Excellent. I should go. I think I need my bow. Change your plan there, huh? All right, one more time. The spell could use a little fine tuning. That should do it. So much for them. Brimstones. You want to die again? You had it. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. She'll cut you some company now that she mentions it. The power of the hunt sounds handy too. This can unlock something back home. Thank <laughs> you. 
crashing waves. A trident. It's uncle number two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Oi there, little Hades. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the seas should be of help. die for this stuff. for a bit. You lads again, huh? you get.
Uncle Poseidon, it's been excellent to know you, sir, so please, this is for you. Oh, I am positively moved by your affection, little nephew. Though I think I've just the thing for you in turn. Here. I thank you, Uncle. Olympus, I accept this message. It's high tide. They got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. from home. They must have lots of these upon Olympus. <laughs> Better stock up. <laughs> hey, good to see you out here, mate. It looks as though you've got some fine wares up for sale. and stop this mental. 
prize of battle. This one was bound to show up, I guess. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. With your power, Lord Ares, maybe I'll get out of here yet. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Look at yourself, Zagreus. You are a total mess. Halfway to death or worse. You're making this too easy. Hit a few snags on my way to meet you, Meg. So, if you wouldn't mind going easy on me this... Not on your life or death. But I will kill you quickly, how's that? I'll hurt you worse than that. Kinds of death I just died this way. Ah, oh, cheers for that, Meg. What? So you got skewered by a spike trap out there, huh? Well, that's too bad. Have you tried not standing there, like when the spikes come out? Okay. Surprise, Hypnos. I got you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't bring that in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks. But wait, I'll trade you. Look. Cheers, Hypnos. <laughs> so how did it go? How did you die ignobly this time, pray tell? Cerberus and I can't wait to hear the tale. In that case, I'll spare you the details. Fine. Your failure is quite easily imagined. How often it recurs. Almost as though my realm is built to keep you here. You and every single soul that's ever lived. But by all means, continue struggling. How's everything been going lately, boy? What's the good word? <laughs> the Underworld Prince's casual inquiry serves but to frustrate the Infernal Hound, as none of his three heads possess the gift and curse of speech. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles.
night and darkness. About time you showed up. Got something new to try. All set. This needs more keys to open. There we go. Aegis, Shield of Chaos. Lend me your power. Ah. Oh, you got one. Nice. Oops, gotta go. 